So I want to show you guys my angle breakdown, give you a little update on what my hair is looking like, how I'm brushing my hair, and just chop it up with you guys and just, you know what I'm saying? Get a session in. Let's go. So straight out of the gate, okay, instantly I know what you guys are thinking. Jeezy, you need a haircut, bro. Listen, I understand that, okay? But you don't get my WandaVision right now. I think we have an understanding. I get it. It's kind of corny, you know what I'm saying? It was kind of cringy, you know what I mean? Cringeworthy, okay? Don't click off this video, okay? Just saying, okay? My vision of where I'm going. Let me explain. All right, so the reason why I'm not getting a cut right now is because I want all the waves to connect all the way down to the hairline. And if I get tapers, you know what I'm saying, or a lineup, I may, not to say that I'm gonna push myself back, I could, I could kind of get lineups, but I just really want to solidify the waves to come down and be connected. So that's the reason why I'm not really getting lineups or tapers or nothing like that. I want my waves to come in so perfect. And when I finally do decide to line myself up, and give myself a taper, that cut will be the best cut that you guys will ever see, all right? Because it will all come together real nicely. So enough about that. We're gonna brush with my soft brush, and then we're gonna get down to the angle breakdown. So for my right side, I'm gonna brush at a slight slant, right, to my ears, or if you will, to my, to my chin, okay? The reason why I'm doing this, I want it to come in 360s on this side, so, you want to brush in that direction. When I'm brushing, I'm making sure that, you know, I stay consistent on how I brush each time I stroke this side. Pause. So let's talk about the problems that's on the side besides the gray. Okay, we know I got gray hair, okay? I'm getting older, chill. But there's a fork right here in this area right here. Even though it's going with the flow, you know what I mean? It all kind of looks fluent, but I do have a fork right here that I'm working on, and it just comes with time. Don't think that you have to do something other than just, you know, keep brushing and keep working in that area. Don't switch up your angles, none of that, all right? Especially because I'm in the beginning stages right now, I wanna remain consistent as possible. So just keep brushing and everything will work out fine. Now when it comes to my left side, Lord, please help me. Okay, this right here is just, it's not it, bro. But I still have to remain consistent I'm doing the same thing that I do on my right side, on my left side. I'm brushing at a diagonal uh, angle um, to my chin, down to my ears. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you do on your your right side, you do on your left side as far as getting 360 waves. So I'm trying to bring it down right here as much as possible. But as you can see, everything is still crashing. You know what I'm saying? Every fork in the world is, is just, this side is just not my good side, all right? The reason why this side is not my good side, it has everything to do with me not brushing enough on this side, okay? Every time I pick up the brush, I go to my right side. Um, I kind of skip over this side. Now, at least I know this, you know what I'm saying? If you're in denial about this, you need to change your, 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 your brushing habits, okay? So I've recently started really just going in on this side, brushing this side more, uh, just so I could, you know, knock out these forks and get it together. But it's all gonna come with time. Like I said, you don't have to switch up the angles. 
Um, you just gotta, you know, remain patient, man. Especially because, like I said, I'm in the beginning stages right now. to the top and the back okay it all to me now I don't okay to, this is this is my opinion okay to me it all depends on how your crown is flowing all right so when I brush my crown I'm brushing my crown I brush the top half of my crown straight and as soon as I get to my right side I start tilting it over in the direction that you know the right side is going in so you want to go around your crown and just each op the opposite sides of the crown i brush the same so if i'm brushing this over like this or if i'm brushing this side straight i'm brushing this side straight down you know what i'm saying so every part of your crown you want to make sure you brush the same as the opposite side so i'm just uh going in a swirl like motion i'm not forcing anything I'm just, you know what I'm saying, going around my crown ever so slightly. My crown isn't really developed yet, but you know what I mean? With patience, it's going to get there. So just move around your crown and just let it flow. Everything, just come off your crown and, and let it flow. That's how I determine the back and the top side. Because I feel like the top side is going to have a little bit of a slant to it just because of where my crown is positioned. Um, but that's going to be because I'm trying to swirl it. So, you know, my back is going to have a slight slant to it. Top is going to have a slight slant to it. But ultimately, everything is going to line up in 360s when you're done. So that's my angle breakdown. So listen, waves don't come overnight. You really have to put in the work. Um, 
If you ask me how much time I brush, you're probably not gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? I put in five hours a day just sitting here brushing my hair. Some of y'all gonna be like, bro, for real? Bro, I'm not doing that, bro. Come on, bro. Five hours, five hours for real? Bro, five hours though? Bro, five hours a day, bro? Bro, really, really, you really brushing five hours, bro? Five? Ain't no way you brushing five hours a day, bro. Ain't no way. It ain't even enough time, bro. How do you find the time to brush five hours a day? There ain't enough time in a day, bro. Five hours, bro. Listen, this is what I do, okay? I'm a waver. I'm a barber. Hair is what I do, okay? If I'm not cutting, I'm brushing. If I'm not brushing, I'm cutting. And I'm not cutting, I'm brushing, brushing. And I'm brushing, I'm brushing. And this is my hobby. This is what I love to do. And I hope it is what you love to do. Uh, you don't got to put in five hours, though, okay? Let's just make it clear, okay? You don't have to put in five hours, all right? As much as you have time, put that time in, bro. Just make sure you go hard, all right? Know your angles. Hit them angles. Stay consistent. Hit them angles the same way every single time and don't let up off the gas, bro. Okay? If you rev that engine, bro, like this, bro, you ain't doing nothing, bro. You got to put the foot on the gas, bro. And, and, you know what I'm saying? Just and go, okay? You know my saying, okay? Hard work, dedication, motivation, consistency, the will to keep going when the going gets tough and the tough gets going, you go. It's your boy 360 GZ. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for your boy because there's more videos to come. I'm out. Peace.